Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. So before going to the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on and if you have any doubts, comment down below, I'll respond within 24 hours. So today I have a question for you. The question is, count the number of ones in a 7-bit input using adders. So to understand the question, let's see an example. Here we have an input of 7 bits and output of 3 bits. So let's take the first example. In the first example we have input as 1, 1, 0 and 4 ones. So we need to design a circuit which will add the number of ones and give the output in binary as 1, 1, 0 that is 6. The number of ones in input are 6. In second example we have input as 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and the output is 1, 0, 0 that is 4 in decimal. In third example, we have input as 1101101 and the output is 101 in binary and phi in decimal. So this is the question and I have given you the example. Now the ball is in your code. So design the circuit and I'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. So before going to the solution, let us understand the behavior of full adder. A full adder has three inputs, A, B and carry in and two outputs, sum and carry out. Let's observe the table of full adder. When A, B and C in are all zeros, we are adding 0 plus 0 plus 0, which gives the sum as 0 and carry out as 0. If you take other value, let's say a equals to 0, b equals to 1 and carry in equal to 1, we will add 0 plus 1 plus 1 and we will get the carry as 1 and sum as 0. So the output is 1 0. 1 is carry out and sum is 0. That's fine. This is similar for all other inputs. The important point to observe in a full adder is that it counts the number of ones in an input. So to understand this statement clearly, Let's take an example where A is 1, B is 1 and C is 1. So the output is 1 1 which is in binary and in decimal it is 3. So you can see that full adder provided with a 3 bit input gives a 2 bit output which counts the number of ones in binary. So this is the important point of full adder. So full adder actually counts the number of ones in input. So now we will use full adder to count the number of ones in a 7 bit vector. So in first stage we will add the first 3 bits using one full adder and next 3 bits using one full adder and the last bit will be used as a carry in second stage. In second stage we will add the outputs of the first 6 bits. So we will add both the sums of full adder in one full adder and both the carries in one full adder. LSB is carry in for the first full adder in second level and this full adder carry out will be the carry in for other full adder and the output is of 3 bits consisting of carry out and sums of both full adder. So to understand let's take an example and go through the design. So the input is 10111101. From first full adder, we will get the output as sum equals to 0 and carry out equals to 1 since the input is 101. And from the second full adder, we will get sum equals to 0 and carry equals to 1 since the input is 110. Now the outputs of the first level are given as inputs to the second level with LSB as carry in. So the first full adder will give the carry in to the second full adder and we are collecting the outputs from the full adder that is 3 bits carry out sum and sum. So that is 101 in binary which is 5 in decimal. So you can try with other input and analyze the design if you want and there you go we have solved this question. So this is the second in brain teaser series for more such videos please hit that like button and thanks for watching. Be brave, Jayan.